Mention it all. Mention it all. Goodbye, Kyle. Who's calling who a frog? Love you, baby. Bye. Hello, Burberry Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Burberry Hills. And guys, it is time to talk about the real housewife of Burberry Hills because something is going on with Miss Kyle Richards and we cannot put our finger exactly on it. And we definitely need to discuss to know what is happening, right? But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do it right now. If you are new here and you want to join the Verbray Troop, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, guys. We are on our way to 30K. So if you want to join the family, you know what to do. And let's talk about this mess. Okay, so... <clears throat> I did a video recently about this new piece of information that is coming from Carl Richards that allegedly she is at odds again with Kathy Hilton, okay? If you don't remember the video, I mean, I'm basically very, very quickly, it all came down to the Aspen trip, okay? I don't know what the hell happened in that trip. Like, everyone is going to be talking about that trip like crazy and it kind of like make us wonder what happened there that make these girls go so crazy right well apparently everything went down when kathy hilton have her major meltdown you know and that she was screaming all these horrible things allegedly you know they're saying that she was saying allegedly saying that she was a white privilege that she was also like screaming homophobic slurs to the DJ at the club, you know, and like all those things over and over and over, you know, and a lot of um, people are convinced that this is the real Kathy Hilton and that we just have not been watching the real her, especially after she joined last season. There was some reports that, for example, Paris Hilton was not very happy with the whole, the whole, like, persona that she was trying to portray because it's not who she actually is. Kathy Hilton joined this show being like the funny one and the, you know, the, the goofy one and uh, the multi-million dollar one who doesn't know how to, you know, plug a fan into the wall and all those kind of things, you know. And Paris Hilton, well, allegedly, she was very upset because it was like, you are not this person, okay? You are not a loving, fun person. You are a controlling B, basically, right? And it kind of like evolved from that on what is happening right now. Now, we have this major meltdown, which sadly was not filmed, okay? And then everyone is talking about it. Um, someone leaked the information out there, and it's quite possible that this information was leaked by Lisa Reina. Uh, she was the first one who start putting things out there like oh my oh so are we we are sending sis and the sis again you know and uh you, you better know that we're gonna be talking about it you know and this and that now everything kind of like evolved from there now the last video that i did we basically were saying that kyle richards was at odds with kathy hilton again because kathy hilton was expecting blind loyalty for from kyle richards you know, and it, it was kind of weird that after all these very heavy accusations were coming out there against Kathy Hilton, none of the ladies were really coming forward to defend Kathy Hilton, which is kind of weird. You know, I mean, you would thought that if someone is saying that your friend is basically racist at home and homophobic, that you will be come out there and being like, I mean, that's not true. That's not what happened. Let me let me actually tell you what went down because those are very serious allegations, right? But more surprising when your own sister is not coming out there, right? And is not saying anything. It's not coming forward. It's not saying anything. It's not saying like, hey, that's not my sister. Please don't believe what, what it's out there because she is not a racist. She is not a homophobic person. Like, please do not believe this kind of um, information that is out there. So by Kyle not posting anything and basically staying quiet, it's saying even more. You know, that's what, you know, it's making us understand. Now, <clears throat> 
you know, Kathy, allegedly Kathy Hilton did not take this well. She's extremely upset at Kyle and this will take, this could take all the relationship down again, which basically means that that whole breakdown that Kathy had on like, oh my God, we spent so much time, like, oh my God, 10 years and we didn't talk. I can only imagine all the time that we could spend together and she cried and she cried at the reunion and everything. I a little bit also like fake. You know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, if you really want to have a relationship, especially between siblings and that, you know, it's supposed to be family, there should be like a different kind of conversation, you know? And Kyle basically putting her foot down and saying like, I'm not defending her. It's letting us, letting us know something, you know? And she, Probably cannot say it like out loud, but she's definitely let us know that, okay, something went down and I am not agreeing with this at all. Okay. Now, Kyle Richards has been like sharing cryptic messages here and there on social media. And now she posts two different uh, posts. <laughs> and the first one says, it's not the stab in the back that kills you. It's when you turn around and see who is holding the knife. And the second one says, letting things light to keep the peace only starts a war inside of you. So we have two options here. Why is she saying this kind of, why is she posting this? Is she posting it related directly to Kathy Hilton? Or do you think that she's feeling betrayed? But another person inside of the cast because that's also very possible right there you know i mean at the end of the day it could be lisa rena it could be erica jane it could be dorit kemsley you know the fox five whatever fours that they were trying to have it could be any of them now because we already have this information out here of what you know went down between kyle and kathy i'm i'm you know i'm thinking that this is all about kathy hilton because I do believe that Kyle kind of will wish to have a better relationship with her sisters. And there are just so much past in there between, even between the three of them, that we will probably never get to understand. And maybe she she thought that this show was going to be the cataclysm to, you know, bring back the families together. You know, to like after everything that went down between Rick and Mauricio and like years and years of not talking, that this will be like, you know, that little thing that is going to be, okay, we're finally done. Our families are finally back together. And then Kathy Hilton might be doing something to really upset Kyle. Now, my question is, because if you really think about it, why Kyle feels so betrayed? You know what I mean? Like, it will make sense if Kathy Hilton was, like, putting this out there because Kathy Hilton is the one who is not being the fan, you know? But Kyle is basically saying, okay, someone is doing something to me and they are be betraying me, okay? And this person, it's very close. That's the first post is saying everything. It's not the stab in the back that kills you. It's when you turn around and see who is holding the knife. Okay? Now, letting things lie to keep the peace, which is basically telling us people around Kyle is telling her, don't make a big deal about this. Just keep quiet. Just, you know, let's keep the peace. Like, not say anything. Are people trying to make Kyle defend Kathy Hilton or going against Kathy Hilton, like trying to manipulate the narrative. What is going on? I mean, this is so cryptic and weird. Now, my thing is, is Kathy Hill, is Kyle Richards really ready to defend Kathy Hilton or is Kyle Richards actually ready to take down Kathy Hilton? Okay. What is going to be? Because if if the accusations of, of Kathy end up being truth, then Kyle is defending a racist and a homophobic person. But if she doesn't defend her, then she's basically destroying her family. 
And that's something that she has been fighting so hard to bring back together. Now, let's also not forget that, you know, I mean, uh, Nikki Hilton and Paris Hilton are marrying, are married to these powerful families, you know, like Nikki Hilton is married to the Rothschilds, which are basically like super trillionaire and like control the world, you know, so it's not, I don't know, it's a whole complicated situation and I don't think that they are happy with Kathy Hilton being portrayed out there as a racist and a homophobe. I don't know. Anyways, so that's the tea right there. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, what is happening? Help me, like, understand these cryptid uh, messages. What is happening? I do, I, I'm just thinking that maybe... I'm thinking that maybe Kyle wants to tell the truth of what happened in Aspen because it kind of like for a moral point of view, that's kind of like the right thing to do, you know? Like you cannot defend a homophobe and a racist if even if that person is your family. You cannot defend them any longer, you know? Like it's a horrible thing to do. So maybe she wants to put something out there and maybe a lot of people, including Kathy Hilton, are like I'm being doing things to her or behind her, you know, the curtains and being like, okay, if you don't defend me, then believe me, this is going to be the end and you're going to go down. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Or, I mean, option C, this also might be about someone else. But we don't have like any information to support that, you know. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. And I'll see you in an hour. See ya. Bye.